What is happening YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog of Daring Whips. We are back with another installation video. We're going to be working on the Alpha. You know, the Alpha Romeo. As I told you guys that we're going to be doing a... Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know by the video that we're going to be doing a intake installed into this. So what I was trying to do is right now, I was trying to do it, like, you know, get it done or like see how it goes before I like, you know, make start making a video and stuff. So we already got the cover off on the car and we already loosened up the clumps now we can't figure out how to get that sensor out from the bottom and uh, like there's literally not any uh, any videos out there on youtube and there's not even a single uh like way to find out how to get that out so where do you got the intake right there as you can see so yeah guys just bear with me i was like might as well just start the video already just to see you know how it goes because i'm what could possibly go wrong you know what i mean I'll update you guys one that once I figure out how to get that sensor out. All right, boys. So let me start again to explain you guys how does it work. Okay. So the first thing you do is open up these two screws right here on the the hood cover, and then just comes comes right out. There's like two clips in the back. You just pull it. Don't worry about breaking it because you won't break it. Okay. So to, well, you take this thing off. Then you open up the uh, the screws right here. Then you just pull that uh, cover out, and cover comes right out. So next thing you do is loosen up this clamp right here. So this clamp was a bitch to loosen up because the, the, the bolt was under it and like there's no way to reach it. Okay, so we got that done already. Then after after that you get this uh, clamp loose and once you're done with these two clamps loosen up, then you go on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. See this yellow thing right here? That's one of the sensors and this is another one. So they got like clips on the side, just uh, press them in and then you just pull it out. It comes right out. The yellow, was, uh, yellow one was kind of a bitch too get out because it was like really hard to press it in because there's like like I said there's no way to uh, reach it and then now we're trying to figure out how to get this sensor out and these holes right here so once I figured that out I'll let you know how this go this thing right here so this is this bolt right here and this like into this thing right here on the bottom you'll see it when you're doing it so you just like open up the screw bolt right there and it should come right out let me do that and let's show you guys <laughs> So we did figure out this one too. It was actually pretty easy, as like I'll usually say. So there was uh, this bolt right here, and you see this thing right here. So it has like two clips to the side. It was bitch to uh, press those clips. I don't know if you could see it. So see this it had clip on this side and that side. I'll show you better once I get it out. And then then you just pull this thing out. It's a little hard because you feel like it has a screw under it, but it doesn't really have anything under it. You just pull it out and it just comes right out. And uh, let me do that, and then I'll show you and how to open this thing up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see better now, so this was this thing right here that was like, and the it was like this clip on the bottom, so that screw right there. So see this? This thing has this fucking clips on the side. Yeah. So you just put punch them in, and then comes right out. Okay. Let's open up this thing right here now to take up the sensor because we're going to keep it and we're going to just unscrew this and I'm going to just find what, uh, what the socket goes on it and we'll go from there again. Alright boys, so we got the whole intake, stock intake out after like fucking 5 hours but now it's time to install the aftermarket and hear that turbo whoosh, 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 whoosh. do it, do it again, whoosh. Whoosh! All right, guys. So before you guys install the, uh, I mean, before you could do anything to install it, so you need to remove these two brackets right here. Uh, there's just one screw right here, and it'll come right off. And like, I think you're gonna need to install the, the uh, intake, uh, filter the holder. filter holder thinking on there. And let's do that, and we'll go from there afterwards. <laughs> Should look something like this once you once you're all done removing the intake, and uh, yeah, now we're trying to put that intake uh, the filter holder, and this thing you just let it go because like you know it's gonna go on there and you just screw that shit on the the new intake. You don't need to really take that off. Okay, let's get to it. So 
actually my camera went out and like I can't record on my camera so what you, what you need to do is once you uh, tighten up that bolt right there with the, the intake holder you install this thing on the top of it and after you install this make sure you put this uh, the one that you just left and you install it this way on this and then you um, before you do this make sure you put the clamp on this like that and then just tighten up the clamp and then you work your way through and then you get this uh, the main thing that goes into your turbo skull or not skull but turbo but you I put it in the turbo pipe and then yeah you just work your back end bro so you basically put in this hose onto this right here yeah. and this thing onto that those two sensors we actually have a hose right there oh, yeah. sitting up there That's gonna go so we're gonna install that hose to those sensors and it's gonna go in here it's right here see it's gonna go like this and then you just put a filter in the front and then I think that's about it. Close it back up. Right? And then just tighten up the bolts and check everything's all good to go. And we're gonna do that and we'll show you how it goes. So we finally got the camera running and uh, so this thing is in all the way in. So basically what you do is, so first you install this right here, then you install this one on the top of it, then we install the sensor thingy on the top of it, and then you install the whole thing and you put this shit in and you put the, these in that we haven't put them in yet, too thirsty. Okay and then uh, we just put these in and this hose goes on the top of uh, on the sensors and bottom and then this clamp uh, you just put it on the turbo thing that kind of sticks out of your turbo and you just put it up and you just tighten up the clamp and uh, then that's it bro then you just gotta remove this thing right here that goes in here for your oh, uh, the stock intake make sure you remove this because like if you don't then you're not gonna be able to install your uh, filter in it because this thing uh, has so much less space to put your filter because if you don't remove that you're not gonna have a space for that Okay, well that's it and let's start up the car afterwards and see how it sounds like. It's like 108 degrees out here and we're like super like sweating and shit cause like first we were recording this for you guys cause like there was like no video at all uh, that we could use to install or like uh, yeah to fucking help us and then second we, I was like might as well you know we're gonna install it so we could help somebody out. So I did this for you guys, it was 108 degrees outside. Sorry guys, so the intake is in. And that shit looks sexy as fuck. Like, I can't even say that 
and it gives the car like a better look and the car looks like a lot better I just said the same thing twice but fuck it uh, so yeah he's just putting that thing on top I think that's it bro I think it's gonna go more than that okay so make sure after you're done have things all tightened up this thing is in those things are in on the bottom that's in this is in this is in all tightened up all tightened up all good all good all right so moment of truth let's start up the car start it up let's go for it <laughs> got a smile on this face bro all right moment of truth start up the car I can already tell the difference in the sound. The car sounds a lot better. I know most of you guys don't like that sound, but just wait, you guys. Just wait. Just wait. We're going to make this car a lot, lot louder, and we're going to make it sound good, of course, for you guys. But just wait. That sounds good. I don't know why you guys not like it. I think it's just my camera that people are like, it sounds like a truck. Uh, uh, it sounds stupid. It sounds like a Dodge Dart. But yeah, it does not sound like a Dodge Dart, and it does not sound like a truck. The car is actually sounding pretty good because... Uh, yeah, and just like my camera, I guess. My camera sucks. That sounds super nice, but I can't hear the turbo for some reason. You gotta drive it, you gotta give it a drive. Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna put up the cover back on and we're gonna clean it, clean it all up and then we're gonna go for a drive and we're gonna go eat and then we're gonna see how it sounds like and if it makes any difference on the power. It pops, bro. It pops. pops really good. Let's see, let's see that. Here's the turbo spool. So yeah, we're gonna go eat and hopefully I don't get a ticket because I barely got pulled over like not too many days ago. Oh, oh you yeah. hear that? You, you hear that? that? Shit, bro. <laughs> Actually, Oosh. it is not good weather to hear that because, like, you know, it's like 100 what? 100 it's actually 100 today, bro. It's 108. It's less. You heard the, the spool? Yeah. I heard the that too. The sounded I told you when bad. you drive it, it, it sounds better. I don't know if you guys know the car, Alfa Romeo Giulia, it has a, a limiter. So, car, you can't, if you're like in a noodle or you just parked, you can't rip the car more than 3,000 RPMs. I don't know why. I don't know if you can remove it. I don't know if it's good for your engine. I'm pretty sure it's not. But like, if you want to remove it, we're going to have to find a way for that shit too. But yeah, you guys, the intake sounds super nice. If you guys really want this shit, it's totally worth it. It's oh, worth yeah. every penny you spend on it. So it sounds super nice. I'm not even joking. So, I mean, yeah, it was too hot. Yeah, it was expensive. But was it worth it? Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Every penny. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really totally cool. worth it, you guys. Okay, and the... The fucked up part was that we don't really know how to install it and we had to hold a camera to explain it to you guys. So actually that that's the part that took longer, but around that was was all good. And yeah. the fucking heat. <laughs> Forgot about that. It's too hot. Yeah, it was actually better than the other days because like the other days there's no wind. Actually we had wind today. So that was a good part. It's still it's still is hot. It's yeah. humid. <laughs> Yeah, it, I don't know if, it I went don't know up. If, is it just me? It like really feels different, bro. Oh yeah, they say that it's it's a uh, written that it with the with this intake it goes yeah. up like 10, 15. Ooh. It doesn't really make that many pops though. I think you're gonna have to go with the tune, right? Yeah, with the tune, yeah, it has to go with the pops, yeah. But this overall, they made the engine sound much better. I don't know if my camera is picking it up or not, but I swear you guys, it sounds, sounds a really lot, lot better. Way lot better. better. Way better than the stock intake. Oh. <laughs> that shit sounds nice, bro. That shit sounds. How does it sound super good? I fucking huh? need an intake on my car, bro. I need an intake on my car, I swear, bro. I'm spending that three hundred dollar. Yeah, I'm spending that. Intake is a must, guys. Intake is a must. We need a fucking intake, bro. That's like literally the first mod you do on your car. I've done everything on the body part, like not everything. I still do a lot, but I've done most of the basics on the body part. But I haven't touched the fucking. Uh, uh, I'm touched the engine bay because, like, you know, I was scared to blow up my engine or anything. But you know, I'm still learning as I go. So, intake's coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> That's cold, bro. What's 
sounds super dope. Watch. <laughs> I'm trying my <laughs> best to hold. Nice, bro. It doesn't really sound on the downshift. It's only when like, on the upshifts, yeah. yeah. You know what time it is? Burrito time. El Pollo Taco Loco time. <laughs> no, it's food vlog, food vlog, bro. Food vlog. Look at that shit. That shit looks good. Some chicken, some protein. That yeah. shit looks good as f. Alright, we're gonna go and eat and then we're gonna give you some revs and, you know, hold. That's it. That's it, you guys.